Welcome to the Gun4 channel. Today I'm out here with the CZ455 Thumbhole Fluted Model. Now, the Thumbhole Fluted Model has one downside. You're not able to buy this gun with a combo. Meaning that you're not able to buy two barrels and make it like a switch barrel kit. But you are able to get online and order an extra barrel for the gun in 17 HMR and 22 Magnum. If you've watched my 17 HMR video about the CZ455, I explain on there how easy it is to actually switch out the barrels. Um, this particular gun, it's more of a joke really as far as the way it's scoped and everything else done to it. Um, I got a really good deal on the scope that's on here. This is actually a Vortex Viper and it's the PST model. This is the 4 to 16 by 50 with the EBR and it's got zero stop and adjustable parallax. Now I wanted a scope with adjustable parallax because it is a 22 long rifle and sometimes I'll be shooting at ranges closer like 25 yards and 50. Sometimes I want to go out farther. Sometimes I feel like going out to say, I don't know, 500. No, I'm just joking. Can't really go out to 500 with it. You probably could, but uh, man, it, it, it would probably just be like tumbling by the time it got there. But uh, so I do have I do have that going on over here on the uh, adjustable parallax. But uh, most of the time I'm in between 50 and 100 yards with it. The gun is zeroed at 100 yards, and uh, with the 100 yard zero using like this is a federal premium target gold medal target, and it's a 40 grain going 1,080 feet per second. I'm able to go out to 201 yards using the EBR reticle. So that makes it kind of fun. Um, you know, it, it allows you to kind of, I don't know, pretend like you're shooting long range. <laughs> and, and that's one thing I like about using 22s and shooting 22s so much is at, at distances where a center fire rifle would be no challenge at all, the 22 long rifle makes it more of a challenge because the bullet's actually dropping in. And as a matter of fact, looking through this scope on this rifle, Using standard velocity ammunition, meaning 1,080 and below, somewhere around in that mark, you can actually see the freaking bullet hit the target. Um, if it's bright and sunny out and, and the light catches it, then you'll just see that thing drop right in. And I mean, you'd actually be surprised to watch that bullet because with a 22 at 200 yards, that thing's actually arcing like this. So that makes it that makes it pretty fun. You can actually kind of see where you're hitting at and then kind of adjust it up here a little bit pretty easy to to kind of dope your uh your elevation and windage on it but i have this one set up pretty much the same exact way as my 17 hmr with the 11 millimeter to weaver adapter i have 30 millimeter medium worn scope rings on here these are split top scope rings and uh of course the vortex um, one other thing I did do out of the box to this was I went ahead and I installed a Yo Dave spring. Now I did not do a shim on this gun, so this trigger breaks at 14 ounces versus 8 like my 17 HMR. Uh, I bought two Yo Dave kits and was able to do three guns. Probably could have did more, but it was more important to me to be able to put the shim in my 452. And I used a heavier spring in my 452, but I was able to shim it to get rid to get rid of some of the creep. Now, one of the improvements over the uh, 452s, if you are a 452 owner, versus a 455, is that the 455 has a lot less trigger creep. In my opinion, it doesn't have as much play to it either. A um, little bit tighter gun. They're better machined than the 452s are. Now, speaking of some of the older models. One of the guns I would love to get my hands on is the 453. Those are extremely hard to come by, and people that do have them nowadays do not want to come off of them. Uh, they're very nice guns. Basically, what you're looking at here is a regular CZ 455 action with just your plain fluted barrel, and it comes in a Boyd's thumbhole stock. Other than that, there's really nothing that special about it. Um, they're, they are a little bit harder to get. CZ does not make as many of these as they do like the Varmint and the American models. Um, they are harder to come by for sure. 
uh, over the past year where I bought this one at a Country Attic Treasures in South Lebanon I've only seen this one and they've had one other one in there and you know they've the Americans and the uh, the tactical one and you know all those those have come and gone but this one was the only one of these that I've seen in there and uh, MSRP on this currently on CZ USA's website is $549 US so I don't know you know if your guys are watching like in United Kingdom or Australia or anywhere else in the world I know I'm not a very popular YouTube channel but this is a very popular gun um, I'd like to know what what the price difference is overseas so if you guys are watching and you feel obligated or feel like you want to leave a comment saying that you know uh, overseas it's this much I'd be curious to see the price difference of what we pay for a 455 here in the states versus other places around the world so I'm gonna quit talking about it a little bit I got a couple targets out there um, literally I have a inch and a half diameter gong out there now I don't hear it very good shooting it with this because it is kind of a soft you know soft hitting gun it's a very thin gong it's homemade pretty much and uh, it's made out of mild steel and I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna plink away at that gong I'm gonna be shooting this uh, federal target so it's not match ammunition nothing special the gong right now currently from where I'm sitting at is gonna be about hundred and twenty yards away and so that's the equivalent of basically hitting a golf ball repeatedly uh, this gun will do it very easily and without any issues at all so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, step up here and zoom the camera in for you guys and we're gonna take some shots Yeah, it's tearing it up pretty good. Well, that wasn't too bad. I'll tell you what, I'm going to load this up and I'm going to zoom on to another target. Okay, now we're going out there for 140 uh, something yards. I think it's 143. And I'm going to have to use the EBR reticle because I have it zeroed for 100. There we go. Now the tree that it's on, it's a dead tree, so don't don't worry about the tree. I'm not killing the tree. And as you can see, it takes it a second to get out there. But uh, this gun will do this all day long. I mean, it's nothing for this gun to shoot that far. You can see I'm holding a fairly decent group on the on the plate there. I'd say it's about an inch and a half group, so it's still holding a minute of angle. Or close to a minute of angle. If you guys like what you've seen today, please subscribe, and I'll try to bring you guys more videos of shooting these little CZs, showing you some of the amazing stuff that they can do and the accuracy that they're able to pull off. That was a two-inch plate, okay, and that was about 140-some-odd yards away. I had to use the EBR reticle. I couldn't just point, you know, I didn't have point of aim as point of impact. So, like I said, if you all like what you've seen today, please subscribe, and thank you for watching the Gunport channel. Oh, and hang around. There's going to be a little blooper right here at the end. I was filming earlier and had an issue. One was the 452 Ultra Lux, and the other one was this. If you're wondering why I keep getting shorter here, I'm sitting on this broken bucket, and it's just, uh, it, yeah, it's getting bad. <laughs>